the atomic word, a capsule of energy. A word is a capsule of energy. And as I lay down on my bed, amidst the black waters, above the sparkle with burning planets, I drift deeper and deeper into the deep crevices of my mind. I slip into the state of realm, rem, and space, which dwells no light. And there I hear nothing but the sound of my inner self, in the dead of the silence of twilight. There I immerse myself in the cosmic milk and sea of unmanifestation. It is there bubbles of consciousness arise all around me. Turning a thought over in my mind and the inner eye, a word is a capsule of energy that which is accumulated with its atomic punctuations. A thought arises from the lotus flower of the inner mind's eye and blooms. Like an avalanche turning over and over, growing bigger and bigger. As a thought now, a word rolls in the subconscious vast ocean of the depths of time and space and imagination. The word manifested into a small dense matter that cracked and exploded, releasing a universe of its own of swimming stars and burning planetary bulbs. Spilling from the creating mind, trickling like the Amrita of life, down my throat and combust as cosmic winged fire from my mouth. Now rotating around me, I dissolve and dive into my thoughts and become one with the boundless black ocean. In my creation am I, and my creation in me. I watch myself emulate onto the white canvas of books growing, progressing, taking shape from thought to word to sentence. Now, onto paragraphs and pages. From nothing came something. First, from nothing came something, and from something came the universe that burst, giving way to the poem, the first verse. From nothing came something, and that something is this poem. It is flowing all the way from my brain stem to my fingertips, to my pen as the ink drips, to form words that I bend as it is all done by my free will. With great wisdom unto you do I descend, like the blooming petals of a lotus in all directions, so too an empty void do I fill. I am a walking universal atom with electrons and protons of words and imag imaginations surrounding, encircling me like a string of pearls. A force am I to be reckoned with, a capsule of energy ready to be exploded and create reality to see how I see fit. As I emerge my entire self in a deep shimmering black ocean of sky and space, that which I manifest is radiant and gives life and light, just as the sun's blazing face. From nothing came something, and that something is this poem. The Wheel of Time and Righteousness I was at my living quarters reading the Quran and the chapter it has been revealed that Christianity had banned. When I heard the knocking of someone at my door, I opened it and saw a man fair as milk, but hair as wool, dressed in a business suit that bore the symbol of the sun on his right pocket and that of the new crescent moon on the left. There was something about him as his face glowed brightly with vigor and life. I am a poor man coming from the east and having come with, without making a scene and a fuss. My arrival here to the west is a must. I thirst. May I have some water or if not, you spare me a quarter? He asked. I gave him a little food and lemon tea in return. This strange man with a heavy Arabic accent gained my trust and told me his name that meant Holy One. He told me knowledge of things not heard of this desolate land. I asked him, dear sir, why do you speak of authority and power? He said, because I am the supreme, the one destined to come. I make all things new just by saying be. I control life and death, and with my own will, my own will do I uphold the universe. Come. Let me show you my splendor and know that I am he. With open palm, 
1930 atoms appeared in his hands and began to rotate and combust into the floor of the universe. It spun from right to left, giving way to light and fire as it burnt, and gave way to the vision of the great wheel of our wheel, above his head, with golden burning flames. I saw the underside belly of the wheel that was half a mile wide. In his belly was a sign of the, of the swastika. The great holy one then shined bright as a million suns. On his forehead was a star and a moon. His eyes were as a supernova. I am the great I am. Now do you see? I am the beginning and the end, said he.